Hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> Long time no see. Figured I would try and vlog this weekend. We'll see how it goes, but anyway, today is Saturday. It is 10 a.m. I just got up. I have a nail appointment at 12.30. I have some dishes to do, laundry, all that stuff. Um, so busy as usual, um, but I have life updates for you. I think my last video was like literally last November. Um, so a lot has happened. I'm going to clean up my dishes and then try and give you an update while I get ready uh, for my nail appointment. Okay, now I've got all the clean ones put away. I need to do the dirty ones. It's bad. I'm never going to take a dishwasher for granted ever again. I cannot wait to have one. Okay, just going to blast some Taylor and get these clean. And I'm back from my nail appointment. I ran out of time, so <laughs> didn't get to do my update yet. Um, what did I come into this dark room for? I don't remember. Okay. Uh, so here are the nails. They are like short, kind of rounded, like powder blue. Oh, I'm obsessed. Um, I've been going to Goldie Beauty Bar down on Water Street now. This is my second set from there. And I love them, so highly recommend if you're looking for a place. It's actually really nice out this afternoon. So mom and I are gonna go for a little drive around, maybe grab some ice cream. Whoa, okay, there we go. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess I'll take you along for a ride and give you an update later. Also, I have to show you what these plants look like. I bought these at Lester's like last month maybe even the month before and that basil looks so good all the time probably gonna dry that out for the winter rosemary not doing as well but that's okay got some chives and some lettuce the the kale kind of got eaten by the bugs <laughs> looking a little sad over there i also managed to grow tomato plants from seed this year which is pretty exciting for me because i haven't done that yet and also got some cilantro growing. Okay, so change of plans again, as usual. I'm here with mom. Hi. <laughs> we made it down to the uh, pedestrian mall finally. I haven't been here all summer except leaving Alan Doyle with Amanda a couple, was that a week ago that I went to that? I think yeah. so. Anyway, we're gonna try and find a place to eat. Been a few hours but we needed to have a nap <laughs> I got a little bit sunburnt I don't know if you oh yeah you can kind of see that there on like the hump on the back of my neck that I really need to take care of but um, I've been home from downtown for like two hours now mom and I watched some of the busker performances as you saw we had a lobster roll and fries at one of the side patio restaurants um, owned by Merchant Tavern they have like a separate um, Crab Shack, I think it's called, uh, just a few doors up. We did that and I did pop into the craft council just to have a quick little look around and I found some products from the business that, or one of the businesses that I went into when I was in Labrador last year. Um, so I picked up a candle from Spruced Up Labrador and a Labrador tea body cream from Spruce Stop Labrador. So the body cream is in the scent Sweet Milk, which is a uh, vanilla and almond scent. Smells amazing, it looks like icing, <laughs> the consistency, so I cannot wait to try that. And the candle is called Sweet Memories, which is vanilla sugar and cotton candy. Um, so it's like a slightly sweeter version of the one I bought in Labrador Let's Stay Home. That one's a bit more of like a cozier vanilla slash, mm, like, marsh like burnt marshmallow scent i would say they're both kind of on the sweeter side but they're not sickening sweet they're like good sweet hopefully the lighting's okay i'm just kind of like moving my camera around because i like don't remember how to vlog honestly <laughs> and i'm already getting like fatigue in my arm holding this thing up so that shows how long it's been i just went back on my channel to see when my last upload was and it doesn't even say the exact date anymore it just says seven months ago so it's been over half a year and I have some things to update you on. 
Um, so I think I'm going to sit on the floor and put my camera on the tripod and uh, we'll get to that update that I was talking about earlier. God, it has been such a long time since I've done this. Um, I've missed it. I really have, but uh, I don't know, the past couple years, like just with everything that I've been doing, it it's made it very difficult to keep up consistently with YouTube. Filming things in itself doesn't take a whole lot of extra time out of your day, but editing and uploading to my personal standards, like I don't like just slapping things together and uploading it. I strive to make my edits and everything as good as I can and because of that it takes me a little bit longer than some others maybe uh, like to upload a video so for that reason like it really hasn't been consistent on top of being in school and working full-time and mom not being well <laughs> and Skipper passing away um, so the last you guys heard from me was December so I was finishing up my second last semester of the executive office management program at a local college here, College of the North Atlantic. Um, so I finished my last semester in April. I officially have my diploma. Looking at it right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's been very celebratory. It was very difficult last semester just from discipline wise. Like I was just so ready to be finished school <laughs> and doing that while working full time was very mentally exhausting um, and time consuming too, of course, because uh, I would leave my job being an executive assistant after eight hours and then I would come home and order food realistically and then be on my computer for like three hours pretending to be an assistant. But yeah, we overcame that obstacle. We're on the other side. I have the diploma now. Nobody can take that from me. So that feels really good. And I've also been working full time, well, with the same organization since April 2021. So I've been there a little over two years now and it's going great, super busy, um, but it's very rewarding. And I've received feedback that I'm doing a good job. So that's always nice to hear. We got news in the spring that mom was officially hepatitis C free. Uh, which was a massive relief because that's put a lot of stress on me over the past couple of years. Basically being a part-time caregiver on top of everything else um, was challenging to say the least. But again, we're on the other side of that. The main thing that I'm dealing with now, <laughs> um, in May, we noticed Skipper wasn't well and we had to go away in June for a wedding, which was beautiful. It was great to see my mom's family, which I don't get to see them as often as my dad's family. So that was lovely, but Skipper wasn't well. Um, and we had to make the decision to euthanize. And even though I truly believe it was the right time, it's still very challenging for me, as you can tell. Pet loss grief is no joke. It is by far the hardest thing I've ever had to go through. I mean, he's been with me half my life. So adjusting to life without him has been tough, but uh, I'm trying to find ways to adjust, yet feel my feelings at the same time, I'm trying to do things that make me happy. <laughs> um, and just trying to keep going. So yeah, it's been a little over two months now and trying to enjoy summer. July was very busy. <laughs> um, I went away for work. I went to like a national AGM for a week. Um, and what else was I doing in July? Yeah, work was just like really busy. It's been like pedal to the metal ever since I got back. Um, right at the end of that humidity wave, that St. John's was having for like a week. I I remember we landed at 2 a.m. and the 
windows just fogged up immediately <laughs> from the humidity. I was like, oh wow, it really is humid home because it was not humid at Edmonton. It was smoky in Edmonton. Um, but I got to go to the West Edmonton Mall for the first time, so that's cool. Um, picked up a couple of pieces from Aritzia, Uniqlo. I ordered a pair of work flats from Brown Shoes with the 5% tax, so that's great. Had them shipped home because I didn't have my size in store. I tried Popeyes for the first time, Popeyes chicken. Oh my god, it is so much better than KFC and Mary Brown's. Love it. Have been dreaming about it ever since. What else? Oh, also got my Taco Bell fix. So yeah, that's basically in a nutshell what I've been up to. Oh yeah, and I also went to um, Alan Doyle on George Street with Amanda and Will, um, which was super fun. We were front row, we were packed in like sardines, but it was a really good show, so that was totally worth it. Um, and I recently bought a ticket last night to the Lumineers next weekend. Um, both Jill and Morgan are going separately with different groups of people, so I'm gonna tag along with one of them. and. Uh, try and let loose a bit because I haven't done that this summer. That's what's been going on. Now that I've had a cry, <laughs> feel a little better. I hate like giving sad news like that because I know a lot of you guys saw Skip a lot in my videos. He's he's always been in my videos so felt like I had to say it <laughs> and saying it out loud like everyone else in my life already knew obviously but like having to share that news again with like a different realm of people is yeah. It's hard, but yeah. I'm starting to get hungry again. I don't know if I want to order food or if I just want to have girl dinner. If you're familiar with girl dinner from TikTok, um, not really sure, but my apartment is a mess. Like it's bad. <laughs> I did my dishes this morning, but <laughs> nothing else got done. <laughs> um, so yeah, maybe I'll work on some of that this evening and show you that. Hopefully that's interesting. It's dark. Okay, that's better. Hey guys, it is Sunday afternoon. It is 4.06. I just got off the couch. I rested for a little bit after I brought in groceries. Jill and I went to Costco and Sobeys and I figured I would show you my little grocery haul and what I picked up. Okay, so we got steaks. I also got a big box of Brita filters. They're upstairs for mom. Chicken breasts. Me and Jill split it a couple of things. Sometimes we do that so we, we can like try things and get smaller portions. So cotton candy red grapes, these toffee uh, chocolate chip cookies, and these pita bites we actually split. There's two bags in this box. Also got some French loaf bread, some tuna steaks to make like a poke bowl kind of thing, mozzafina, some broccolini, we got some mushrooms. This is raspberry lime like sherbet or something, it's it's really good. Um, <laughs> what else I got? Strawberries, uh, Tex-Mex and cheddar cheese. We got some tortillas, some mini cupcakes, Lysol cleaner for the kitchen, and some dryer sheets. It's a little bit later now. It's almost 11 o'clock. Just coming on here to end the vlog. I just meal prepped my lunches for the next two days, um, but I forgot to vlog it because I was trying to just like push through because I'm getting tired. Uh, but thank you so much for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And uh, 
hopefully we can keep this up. We're gonna see what happens, but I'm hopeful. <laughs> All right, bye guys.